Last week, we traveled alongside Attorney General Jeff Sessions to El Salvador, the small Central American country that is the home of MS-13. It's also its operations base. MS-13, of course, is one of the deadliest gangs in the world. We know that now because a lot of them are here. We learned a lot on the trip, both about how MS-13 operates and how it became such a threat to us in the United States. Tonight, we're going to bring you the first part of our special series, Hunting MS-13. Directly south of New Orleans, across the Gulf of Mexico, is the tiny Central American nation of El Salvador. It's a beautiful place, lush and studded with majestic dormant volcanoes. It could be a mecca for tourism and investment, like its neighbor Costa Rica, but it's not. Together, I believe we can weaken this violent, dangerous gang that is threatening your country and our country. Instead, El Salvador is one of the most dangerous places in the world, with a murder rate higher than Iraq. Houses in the capital city, San Salvador, are surrounded by concertina wire and high-voltage fences. Businessmen commute by armored car. Their biggest fear? The criminal gang, MS-13, which is holding their country hostage. In the past 10 days, half a dozen police officers have been murdered by MS-13. That's an enormous number in a country of just 6 million. Officials say they expect more killings. So you have lost six police officers in 10 days? Oficiales de policía en 10 días. Sí, efectivamente. Yes, that's right. One of those uh, ways to doing things uh, the gang is to attempt to uh, try to kill police officers. Last week, we traveled to El Salvador to see the situation there firsthand. What happens in that country has a direct effect on life here where MS-13 has gained a foothold from California to New York. Officials say many of their criminal activities are supervised by gang leaders back in Central America. That was confirmed to us by a former MS-13 assassin we interviewed, a man who claims to have murdered dozens of people for the gang. He told us how easy it is for gang members to sneak into the United States through Mexico, aided by weak border controls and unenforced immigration laws. So after he crosses Mexico? <coughs> The homeboys, the MS-13 homeboys in, in the United States, they will wait for him at a certain point. They will pay people, they will pay people to bring him over and they will come and pick him up. So they find him and he stays there. Later we visited a detention center in San Salvador where suspected MS-13 members are being held before trial. More than 50 men packed in a single cell, their backs to us to avoid being identified. We're here at a Bartolina in the capital city. It's a detention center. It's where the arrested wait until conviction, at which point they move on uh, to one of the city's bigger prisons. We tried to go to one of those prisons today, but we're advised it was just too dangerous uh, to go there. In fact, one of our security guys said if we went there, we'd have to throw away our clothes because it was so filthy. Um, it would be toxic to keep them. The squalor and the stench of bodies were unbelievable. But maybe even more amazing, how young they were. Some seemed barely out of childhood, though in many cases they were covered in gang tattoos, a sign of their total commitment. Before long, some of these guys may wind up in L.A. or Long Island. It's happening now. So they say what city they want to go to, whether it's Islip, New York, or Houston, or Los Angeles, and we take them there and turn them over to sometimes gang members, sometimes relatives who have very little control over these young people, and they begin, they're drawn into the gang. All week, we'll be bringing you dispatches from our reporting in El Salvador because MS-13 isn't just their problem anymore. That's just an overview. We hear a lot more from that former gang member tomorrow night on a kind of an amazing interview, bragged about killing dozens of people. It's worth watching. The rest of the week, we'll tell you more about how MS-13 gets into the U.S. and how they operate once they're here. We'll also show you more inside that detention center. Our special series, Hunting MS-13, 